Sana, who's there, who's been following this story the whole day. And I know it's been a long, long day for you, Wasisio. But take us through, in a nutshell, what happened today. It has been a very long day indeed, Peter, both for journalists and delegates who arrived yesterday and they had to uh, stay up all night waiting to register, uh, having to wait because of the disputes that caused these delays. Some, even today, were not able to register and some uh, found out that their branches were disqualified and therefore will not be part of this conference as angry as they were, uh, but they had to stay away. But uh, fortunately, uh, eventually, Peter, there was some progress uh, in the last hour or so as the Congress has now been officially opened by the outgoing chairperson, Pumolo Maswale. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, the nominations that were expected to take place today, the political report, the organizational report, all that will be done tomorrow. What is going to happen now is for the uh, alliance partners to give their messages of support to the Congress. It is worth mentioning also, Peter, that the ANC Youth League is not here. We were told that there were some technicalities that they were uh, still sorting out. We are yet to uncover what those technicalities are, but delegates are inside. The Congress has taken a break now and it will convene again after dinner to give those messages of support to this. Uh, Provincial Secretary Oscar Mabuyan also took the stand to outline rules of the Congress, what is expected from delegates and what is expected from this Congress. Peter? So does that mean that the Congress, as it's, because it started, does that mean that all the stakeholders are fairly happy that whoever's supposed to be there is there and whoever's not supposed to be there is not there? Because this really has been the point of contention in uh, most of the uh, uh, other Congresses that have uh, ended uh, in court. Um, so if they start on the right point where everybody says, OK, we're good to go, uh, then chances are the outcome will probably uh, uh, come, come out okay, depending on the result. But are we at that point where everyone agrees that the people that are there should be there and those that shouldn't aren't? At this point, Peter, it would seem like uh, everyone who's supposed to be here is here. Uh, you remember that the nine-hour delay was caused by disputes over uh, delegates that were not supposed to be on the list. And the PEC, together with NEC employees, had to sit, had to be in a closed meeting to discuss and to do what they term as a clean-up scrapping off those delegates that were not supposed to on, be on the list and they said that until they do that then the Congress will not start. The Congress has started, it has been officially opened, meaning that they were able to scratch those who were not supposed to be in, uh, in the Congress. But Peter, the adoption of credentials tomorrow will be the determining factor, will put a stamp to say indeed all those that were here were supposed to be here. If not, then the Congress will be stuck at credentials because parties, delegates will argue and will raise their disputes if there are any to say there are people who are supposed to be here, they are not here, there are some people who are not supposed to be here, but they are here and therefore credentials cannot be adopted on those bases. So at this point in time, it would seem as if they managed to scratch off those who are not supposed to be on the list, but we will know for sure once adoptions are ad uh, credentials rather are adopted tomorrow. All right, uh, two quick questions for you and then uh, we'll wrap. Uh, the first one is, uh, wasn't there an urgency because uh, today was supposed to be the deadline to uh, get names and uh, this whole process uh, finished? And then secondly, um, I, I know you were monitoring the chair levels outside and as delegates were coming in that there were two factions in theory. Um, did you get a sense from measuring the chair levels, who is the most popular candidate or grouping? In, indeed, uh, Peter, 
um, there was an urgency. Remember that uh, all congresses had to be uh, finalized by the 30th of this month, and that's why the PEC said it would make sure that by 11 p.m. today, everything is fit in to make sure that uh, the credentials are adopted. The political report, the organizational report is also done by midnight, by midnight today, but it did not go as planned. I'm sure from the meeting, the tense meeting that they were in, they saw that it would not be possible to do all that and therefore would have to end it tomorrow. Coming to the cheering and the supporters, by the look of things, Peter, if the cheering outside is anything to go by, it would seem like the outgoing provincial secretary, Oscar Mabuyane, has the most support as we saw a huge number of people chanting songs outside, calling for his name. And then when we saw the people who were supporting uh, Pumulo Maswale, there were a, a group of people who were not even half of the group that we saw that was supporting Oscar Mabuyane. He did come out to greet his supporters and you could see the confidence levels in him that he was confident that that he is going to win the Congress. But uh, like I said, Peter, uh, by the look of it, it is yet to be decided inside this room who exactly had the most support. But we have been seeing also uh, Pumulo Maswal, who's been very quiet, rather, uh, Peter, leading up to this Congress, who has been playing a very low key, not wanting to speak to the media. Of course, we know that the rules and policies of the ANC is that it is the Congress, the delegate that would nominate and then they would both be given a chance to accept or decline the nomination. We are yet to see if they are going to accept the nomination, especially Pumulo Maswale after seeing that the numbers are more on the provincial secretary Oscar Mabuyane's side. It is going to be very interesting uh, to see if the numbers that we saw outside will make a huge impact inside and will vote for who they were singing for. Peter? We'll see you at Jim Simon. Thank you very, very much indeed. And now that's a woman who's been working really hard today, bringing us that story uh, from the Eastern Cape.